Hello and welcome back again to my channel. My name is Nora G. So it is Mother's Day's week and this that will be this Sunday which happens to follow my birthday. Yes and no I'm not celebrating. However <laughs> I will be showing you some easy last minute DIY Mother's Day gifts ideas today as well as some African home decor DIY or African wall decor DIY. So let's get right into it. Without wasting much of your time, for this African inspired home decor DIY or African lady wall art, I will be using some canvas and black cardboard paper. Okay, so for this wall art, you could you could easily paint this out if you're a painter, but I chose not to do so today. Um, just because I wanted to try something different, and so I'll be using cardboard no painting whatsoever required so you do not have to be a picasso or leonardo da vinci to be able to do this all right so i went ahead to trace out my lady's face which i will use my hot glue to glue onto the canvas and then we will work our way from there on just watch as i do this consider this an african mona lisa <laughs> well i'm just kidding so this wall art um, very much complements the uh, sculpture the african lady sculpture that i had done as part of my afrocentric home decor diy series and that is the one i showcased to you at the start of this video so make sure to check out that video a uh, link can be found in the description box below so now that I have my lady's face all glued onto my canvas, I went ahead to cut out this beautiful Ankara fabric. Alright, so I'll be using this fabric to do my lady's headscarf. A head tie or headscarf is a very common accessory among women in many parts of Africa and abroad if I may add. So this ranges from just time for fashion for spiritual reasons and just for tradition and it symbolizes a lot of things a lot a whole lot of things symbolizes humility beauty you name it but for this particular DIY I am doing this because it is part of our culture and a big fashion statement all right my mother used to be the queen of head dyes if I may add I have mentioned that before as you can see up on the screen she loved her headscarf and she was really good at tying them. So this African lady wall decor was definitely inspired by her. And to every other mother out there, not just African moms, but every mother to be moms and in fact, every mother out there. Happy Mother's Day. So let's continue. So next, I will be using my hot glue to glue down the headscarf onto my lady's head okay so i will be doing one string at a time making sure that every rough edge every rough edges is actually covered so just watch as i do this meanwhile if you haven't checked out my afrocentric home decor diy series make sure to check out the links in the description box below to watch the videos especially on how i use aluminum foil to make uh, a lady sculpture which I would say this is the head of that lady sculpture <laughs> anyways so back to our DIY so I am not following any particular other with glowing the head scarf onto a head the goal here is just to make sure that it is large enough but not too big to actually cover her face okay so I would just keep adding and making sure that it's ruffled up as well to give it that 3d look just watch as I complete this Mother's Day used to remind me of a lot of things positive things if I may add and I used to look forward to it with so much I don't know anticipation planning the next thing I want to do for my mom or surprise her and all of that just being grateful for her and everything but the last two years my viewpoints for Mother's Day has changed a great deal and that is after I lost my mom it's become like a constant reminder but I'm beginning to shift my mindset from that place so I am again embracing Mother's Day for what it used to be and still wishing her happy Mother's Day even though she's not here anymore because I do believe she's here in spirit so yeah so please I'd like to know what does Mother's Day remind you of comment below so I will be using this shell earrings 
they're not earrings actually they're just seashells so i was pre paint that gold and have that as her earrings next i will be using some gold metallic tape to create a frame around the canvas for a more presentable look just watch as i complete this very well so if you first right up to this point you already know the drill if you're a constant on my channel so um, i would love it if you can comment happy mother's day in the comment section and show your girls some love while wishing other mothers in the comment section a very happy mother's day okay so just go ahead and comment happy mother's day and happy mother's day to you too <laughs> thank you and please do not also forget to let me know or let us know what Mother's Day symbolizes to you or what Mother's Day means to you. Okay, I would love to know. Now back to our lovely African wall decor DIY or African home decor DIY. You can really see how much difference putting that gold frame around the canvas makes and so i will go ahead then to cover that area which i had shown you earlier on uh, with the, the little patch of um, fabric as you can see and once i have that glued i will then put on the earrings i will show earring or scallop earrings i love one for myself i think i'm going to create one for myself there's just something about large earrings and big head ties yeah <laughs> This African lady wall art will be part of my Queen Diva DIY series, which I have made a couple before, except this will be an African Queen Diva. Okay, so um, this is the first side view I will be doing because um, if you've been following me for a while now, you would have noticed I have done a couple of front view Queen Divas. All right, so this is the first side view and um i just start to do something different again and that is why we're doing this this way so once i had her earring glued up here is our final look of our beautiful african queen just look at that i love the 3d effect of the headscarf and the earrings and i just love how colorful the headscarf is that is very typical Beautifully adorned and colorful head ties will continue to give meaning and hold symbolic significance for many years to come in Africa as a means to uplift and continue an ancient heritage, status and fashion statement. For me, it's all about the fashion statement and ancient heritage. So that sums it up for today's video on our African home decor DIY and I hope this adds to your African home decor ideas. So if you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and happy Mother's Day.